It wasn't me. Fly, Fizzbees, fly! I have this little sister, Lola. She is small and very funny. Sometimes Lola likes to play with my things. For example, this is mine. Oh, Charlie, give me the nope. Fizzbez. Uh -uh. I know it's yours, Charlie, but I really, really need to play with it. Please. OK, Lola. Fizzbees, Fizzbees, you can Fizzbees. play with it, but be careful. You know they're not for indoors. I will be extremely careful. <laughs> Whoops. Beep, beep, beep. Grad control. This is Alpha Solo. Permission to do it. Oh yes, it took me 10 days, 3 hours and 40 minutes to make the outside, which is called the superstructure. Ooh! It's built from three cereal packets, 10 yogurt pots, 157 sweet wrappers in various colours, 28 bottle tops and a roll of extra, extra wide tin foil. Wow! And you see that, Lola? That is the first prize bag that Mrs Finch gave me for making the best rocket in the class. I beat Marv and that boy Harvey. Wow. Uh, don't touch it. <sighs> don't touch it. This rocket is really breakable and it's the best thing I've ever made. There. I don't mind you playing with most of my things, Lola, but this has won a prize and it's not really a toy anymore. You must double, triple promise you will never play with it. Do you understand? Mm. Let's play with something else then, Charlie. Well, I've promised to play football with Marv. But what am I going to do? Cooking with Mum? I don't want to do that. Well, why don't you play with Lotta? Because she's playing with her cousin today. Well, well can't you play on your own for a bit? I don't like playing on my own. Why don't you play with Soren Lawrenson? Soren Lawrenson is Lola's imaginary friend, and no one can see him except for Lola. That's a good idea, Charlie. Soren Lawrenson always wants to play with me. Hello, Soren Lawrenson. Hello, Lola. Charlie's gone to play football with Marv, so we can go and play a very good game, can't we? Oh, yes. We can have an adventure with a... Um... With, uh, with those two nasty hyenas that are brothers and are twins. Charlie told me about them. They're the dogs that laugh. Well, yes, they can be in it. How about that tiny small elephant? Oh, yeah, Ellie. Yeah, Ellie. And, and where will the adventure be? Um, the place where all the animals live. <laughs> that pony elephant has a trunk, <laughs> but he can't blow his nose. <laughs> Because he doesn't like the nasty hyenas laughing at him. Those hyenas are meanies, aren't they? What are we going to do? Oh dear, we can't leave Eddie all sad. No, we can't. Because we have to get him away from the nasty hyenas. Yes, he must go back to all his nice friends in Animal Land. Oh, Soren Lawrence, and how are we going to get him there? I don't know. Hmm. The rocket. But that is an extremely breakable and very special rocket. And Charlie said we should never, never touch it or play with it. But I think what Charlie meant was that if we did play with it, we must be extra specially careful. But we will, won't we? Of course we will. Remember, you've got to be extra specially careful. I am, I am. Oh, no! Oh, Lola. You know, I think 
when things are broken, they can always be mended again and made like new. <laughs> Hello, Lola. Have you been playing with Soren Lawrenson? A little bit. I had a great game. Scored two goals. Lola, if we both act normally, then maybe Charlie might not think we did it. No, he'll never know. He'll never, never know. Ah! My rocket! Lola! Soren Lawrenson, now I'm going to have some pink milk. Lola! Do you want some? Lola! Yes, please. Did you break my rocket? Did you break my rocket, Lola? Me? I didn't break your rocket, Charlie. Well, it was fine when I ran out, and now it's totally ruined. Did you break it or not, Lola? Not. Did Sora Lawrence and break it then? Lola! Sora Lawrence was with me the whole time. And I absolutely did not see him break the rocket. You are telling a big lie, Lola. And you know it. And I'm going to tell Mum and Dad right wait, now that... Wait, wait, Charlie. Don't tell <sighs> Mum. I just have to quickly talk with Sora and Lawrence. Come on. Do you think we should tell him what really happened? I don't know. He's really, really cross. Maybe we could tell Charlie somebody else broke the rocket. Why don't you tell him that? That's really funny. Yes, because it's nearly true. Right. Charlie. What? Sora and Lawrence and me have got something very extremely important to tell you. What? It is the real true story of who broke your special rocket. Who did break it, Lola? Well, me and Sora and Lawrence were playing in our room, Charlie. And you know Ellie, that tiny small elephant? He needed to go in your rocket because he was very, very sad. I didn't think it was a good idea, but he had to get away because the two nasty hyenas were laughing and laughing at him. So he squeezed Ellie, and it was a real squish. But we did it! And then we took off. I don't think he believed us. I think I have to tell Charlie the truth. Mm, it'll make you feel much better. But will it make Charlie like me again? Maybe, as long as you say sorry too. There's something we want to say. Sora and Lawrence really want to say sorry for breaking your rocket, Charlie. Just fix that one. Charlie. It was me that broke your rocket. Just as I was getting your special rocket down from the really, really high shelf, it slipped and fell and and broke into lots and lots of pieces. I'm really ever so sorry for breaking your extremely special rocket, Charlie. Are you really sorry, Lola? Sorry, Charlie. That's okay, Lola, because you have told the truth. Charlie.